Okay, so what we're going to look at now is building our config uh, class. And this is going to allow us to draw any option that we want in a really cool way uh, from our config uh, that we created in init.php. So we defined our configuration here. Um, of course, we could, uh, when we are accessing our config, um, because we set this as a global, uh, we could, of course, do something like the following. MySQL and host, for example. So we could, of course, do this. Um, but this is a little messy. And what happens if we go ahead and change the name of our uh, our config to something else, for example? Um, now, what we're going to do is build this class. And uh, essentially, it's going to allow us to access our config um, in a super easy way using forward slashes, almost like a directory separator. So the end result that we want is to be able to say something like um, echo config get and then we want to say something like MySQL host. And that's what we want to do. And that's going to then output 127.0.0.1. That's what we want because it just makes it, it sort of abstracts, you know, using native um, functionality of accessing this um, globals uh, array um, on its own. So let's go ahead and build this. It's not too difficult, but um, there's, a, there's a few little things in here that might confuse. So it's one of them things that we build, but then afterwards we can sort of sit back and relax and say, I can pull config from anywhere. Um, and this works at any level deep as well. Um, you can go into, um, I don't know, you could say something like more and then create a new array and, and go, go much deeper into the array. And this config uh, class would still work. So it's sort of bulletproof in the sense that whatever you add into your config, you'll be able to access. So um, the class is going to be called config. Uh, remember, we don't need to require this anywhere because we already have an auto loader. So we can test this out on index.php. Um, we don't need to require it anywhere. So we're going to have one function in here or one method rather. Uh, it's going to be a static method. So we have a public static function. And this is just going to be called get. Now inside of get, we want to define the path, so that path, and we're going to set that as a default value of null, just so we can check if it exists. So inside of here, we want to say if path, so we want to make sure that path has been uh, passed to this method. So now what we're going to do is create a variable to basically define where our config is coming from, just so we can make things a little bit easier. So we're just but essentially going to say config equals um, globals config and that's it. So we now have this config variable that we can use down here uh, makes it life a lot easier so we don't have to keep repeating ourselves with this. So the path is going to be the path that's passed in. So let's go ahead and just um, just use this class basically. We haven't built it entirely yet. Let's go ahead and use it like we just saw. So I'm going to say MySQL host. So I'm going to assume this is going to output this and that's what we want to achieve by creating this. So the path, we want to explode. So explode is going to take a character that we want to explode by, and it's going to basically give us an array back. So let's go ahead and print R on path, and that's just going to show us what we, what we see here. Let's open our browser and refresh, and we can see that we've got an array now of two elements, one MySQL, one host. So you can start to see now that as we've broken this up, it's going to make it a lot easier to find what we're looking for here, MySQL and host. So now what we want to do is we want to loop through these pieces that we've broken up. So we, of course, create a for each loop to loop each element of this array. And we have for each path, which is the array that we've just created as bit. So in here now we have access to bit. So if I was to echo bit, we would get, uh, let's just pop a space on there. You'd see that we get MySQL and host. So we now have access to each of these bits uh, that we've defined. Um, so we want to check if these are set in the config. So we can use the is set um, uh, language construct and say config bit. So now what's going to happen is if um, config, uh, so this config and this bit here is set, then we can go ahead and set it. So let's go ahead and check this out there. Now it only echoes once. Now, why is this? Well, if we look at this code carefully, if is set config bit, that will be MySQL. 
host isn't set inside config. So what we really need to do here is we need to set um, our config equal to config and that bit. So here we say config equals config bit. So what's now going to happen is we're going to return um, this. Um, we're going to return this value. So return config. Now let's take a look at what happens when we. Uh, let, yeah, let's check it out. There we go, and we have one dot one two seven dot one dot one dot naught dot naught dot one. So what's happened here is um, for each one, if it's set, we're setting the config to the the, the bit that we want. So for the first loop, we're going to say, "Does MySQL exist inside config?" If it does, we're setting config to MySQL. So then for the next loop, does host exist in config? Because now config equals MySQL. And then we end up with this piece here. So that is literally all we need to do. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just um, outside of this, I'm going to return false. So if we don't have anything uh, existing here, so for example, MySQL host, um, hello. And if we do a var dump on that, and we go ahead and open our browser and refresh, you can see, oh, oh, of course, no. So we can define, actually, the way our code's written, we can define this because this doesn't exist, so it's still returning config. Uh, but if, for example, we were to say, hello, host, uh, there, that will then be, oh, of course, because we're, we're returning our config anyway. Um, if the path is actually set, so I guess in that case, the only way that we're only gonna we're only gonna return false is if um, that like that. So something you might want to do as a sort of side thing is actually check for things like this because obviously this hasn't been factored into this code that I've written. Um, but you might want to actually check if things exist. I mean, this isn't necessarily a problem because if if our config file is if our config stuff is there. Um, then we we sort of have control over that. It's not a user controlled thing, so you know no one's necessarily going to be there to mess around with it. But overall, um, if we were to change this back to MySQL host um, and we refresh, we can now get specific parts of our of our config out. Now, like I mentioned, we can go a little bit further, so you can create a new uh, array inside of here. But basically, now we can access all of our config in a really easy to remember way so we don't have to we don't have to mess around uh, accessing this global array